No rain or snow in sight for this late season game. Terry Gannon, Tim Brandt, Michigan State has won the toss. They defer to the second half. Paul Edinger will get us underway in a game between Michigan State, Tim, who's had an up and down schizophrenic year. Some huge wins, but some tough losses. And Penn State has been frustrated recently. Slow start, wins over Notre Dame. Ohio State, of course, got Michigan State going. And I've never seen people down here up in your Happy Valley as down as they are on Penn State. Inconsistent play for the Nittany Lions. Underway, Eddie Drummond, three yards deep. He's going to bring it back. Across the 10, out to about the 20, about the same as a touchback. And that's where the Nittany Lions will start on their first series of the ball game. The chilly starting lineups for Penn State, an offensive line. Everyone has been injured except Floyd Wedderburn, who is a leader on that line and playing in his last home game. Corey Jones, after a year off last year, the leading receiver, along with Shafi Fields and Cuncho Brown. And in the backfield, Eric McCrew, the true freshman because of all the injuries for the Nittany Lions back there. Cordell Mitchell out with a shoulder injury. He is dressed, but they don't expect to see him in there at all. So on first and 10 from the 20. Thompson off of play action. They're going to throw on first down. Out complete at the 36. Shafi Fields with his first catch. And a nice start for the Nittany He's, Lions. Uh, taking a lot of heat up here. 6'5", 219 pounds. Watched him in high school. Just a fantastic player. Good quarterback who's worked his way in here. And he does uh, he does things, just stays within his limitations. And they, you, you're right. They knew he was limited. Under pressure this time. Throws out. It's complete, but he was out of bounds. Jonas Stasi made the catch, but he was a good foot and a half out of bounds. And a long count. Pigeon gets it off. Line drive, short punt. Makes a Penn State bounce throw down to the 30 yard line. starting lineups, the offensive line also banged up all season long for Michigan State, but very young as well. The protection has gotten better. Jason Strayhorn, though, with a pinched nerve. We'll see how long he can go. Plaxico Burris, Michigan State record 62 catches this year. Baker dangerous as the tight end as well. And Cedric Irvin, you know all about him. Three straight 1,000 yards, and Garrett Gould leads the way. Bill Burke has run the show very well in the last seven games. Irvin can Here's hit. Arrington right there, right in the middle. There goes Cedric Irvin. They're going to try him, and nothing doing on first down. Wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage by Courtney Brown. This Penn State defense, Courtney Brown, you saw him already, a great player at defensive end, along with Brad Schioli at the other end. It's a defense that has 42 sacks on the year. LeVar Arrington leads the way. Brandon Short, a heck of a middle linebacker, too. And David Macklin leads a secondary that is talented but undersized. Here's Arrington right in the middle. Second and 11. The inside give to Irvin, trying to get outside. Gets a block and turns the corner out to about the 40 yard motion to the far side. Give it to Cedric. No surprise there. And a big hole after the first down across midfield. In the Second down. There goes Urban looking for a lane. Got one outside. Has a first down for the third down. Out of the gun again. Burke. He's going to throw deep over the middle. He's got his man. At the 11-yard line, Still Gary inside Scott. the red zone. Give it to Cedric. Urban coming our way. Couldn't find much. Michigan, Michigan State. There. There he goes over the left side, and then to the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans. No surprises push here. You. Big offensive line. They've got to use that. They can't put this on the shoulders of, of Thompson. Aaron Harris now in the ball game at tailback. The play action. Thompson to throw. He's got his man. It's the tight end, Tony Stewart. And they'll move. And it's been a tough road back. Still doesn't quite have the speed that he once had. There he goes outside. Breaks a tackle. He has the strength, though. Quick fake back to Joe Nastasi, who's got speed. Gets outside, inside the 25, and run out at the 23-yard line. It's just a one-step, boom. Get it out there right now. Nastasi takes a step backwards. Now he's one-on-one. -on -one. Little shake and bake, gets to the outside. You mentioned the speed. Just runs around the corner, Hill, and then he picks up the big yardage. But that's just one-on-one -on -one football. There goes McCoo over the right side. Bounces outside. Inside the 15 to the 13, and a couple of penalty markers at the end of the play. Face mask against the Spartans. Backfield. Here comes Shafi Fields in motion. Straight drop. And plenty of time to the end zone and incomplete. Fields was there, and Thompson 
had a world of time. 22-yard attempt now for Travis Forney. He's had three block this year. Not this time. Forney up and good, and so Penn State on the board, but it, this crowd not too excited about this struggle. The defense has been very good. They really just haven't made big plays to win the big games. This one batted down. Imani Bell, who is starting for the injured David Fleischauer. And this is a down that Penn State loves defensively. Third and long for Michigan State. This is when they bring him. There goes Arrington. And it's batted down. LeVar may have gotten a hand on it. He did. He may have gotten more than a hand on it. They're on their feet for the first time this afternoon. Look at number 11 this time. Arrington again. And watch his timing to get up and block the pass. Boy, that's outstanding. Burke's looking. He thinks he's got an, a lane to throw. And then there's Arrington. And they almost blocked it, but Jarrett's got a run. Out to the 24, nowhere near a first down. So Penn State, we just mentioned the lack of big plays. They come up with one here. I think it was David Macklin who got in there first. It was. Now that chased him out. Now it looks like he's going to get a first down. But here's Pettigrew up here coming this way. And look at the tackle he makes to stop the first. And so Penn State gets it at the 23. First and 10 from the 23. McCoo tripped up behind the line. Nastasi in motion. Play action. Thompson now under pressure. Can't get out of the grass, but Peterson, there's the man again. Forney just hit one from 22 yards. This time a 40-yard attempt. Down, it's up. Plenty of distance and good. So it's been all Travis Forney for Penn State to this point. That's a great weekend of college football. This one tipped up and picked off. Brandon Short has it. The second huge play by this defense, and he's out of bounds at the seventh. There's the big plays that Joe Paterno has been talking about. Arrington tipped it initially. Here's Short. They move Arrington over here. He comes hard. He tips it. He comes back here and makes the interception. Watch this. Two linebackers that are working in tandem. Outstanding. Again, Arrington up top. Tips it. Ball's high. Here comes Short. He makes the pick. Now watch Arrington. Try to get out and get a block. Look for a white shirt. Take him down. Can't get there, but another big turnover. Great field position for the Nittany Lions. Third blocked pass that Burke has thrown this afternoon, too. So Ramelli and Harris out of the eye. There goes Aaron Harris over the right side, fighting his way down to the two. Hey, Jones in motion, coming back this way. So Ramelli, the fullback, flags on the play as he gets to the end zone. We'll wait and see. Good point. Offside, defense. Penalties declined. Touchdown. So it stands. Saramelli to the end zone, and Penn State finally gets to the end zone. Boy, I tell you what, he just takes it up and watch the high steps. Everything's around his feet, lifts those knees, get them high, and just, just bull his way in. And then Thompson, a straight drop, looking over the middle, and he's got a man. They get the two. Concho Brown is tight end with a catch. Thompson makes a good read, sends wide outs to both sides, but then he has the tight end just sit down right over the middle. Linebackers don't pick him up. Ledyard was late getting there. Touchdown. Over Notre Dame and Ohio State, the only losses those two have endured. Sean Foster's going to bring this one back. Not far, though, to the 15. Close good coverage. State with uh, Irvin the first time. They, they ought to go back with that. Gould ahead of him as the fullback. There goes Irvin. Looks for room. There's nothing at all. Bob Jones, Brad Schioli. On the roll, there goes Burt. Left-hander and hit hard. Ball is loose at the one. Michigan State comes up with it, but inside the one. Courtney Brown just leveled Burke. Excellent technique. He's relentless. Watch 86 coming from the backside. Boom! And takes the left-hander down. I mean, he is just tagged. See a guy's head jolt like He's that. He's already had to tuck one and run with it. Here they come. Gets it away. Bruce Branch. 
Back at his own 40. What a punt. Plenty of room, though. To the 37-yard. Quick drop. Thompson with time. This one batted down. He almost threw it right to Josh Thornhill. This will be a 48-yard try. He's kicked a 50-yarder this year already. Good spot. And it hits the upright and bounces the wrong way. Burke to throw. Hasn't had much success at all so far. This one's picked off. David Macklin with the interception. They're not done yet in the first quarter. There he goes up the sideline. Macklin to the end zone. What a run. Not a well-thrown pass. Now he's looking over there the whole time. Now freeze it. Look at this. One, two, three, four defenders, and you're trying to thread the ball in here. Now roll it, and there's the pick. It's underthrown anyway. Then they lose him. He comes inside right here, and the tacklers kind of lose him. He bounces outside and takes it the distance. Macklin has stayed. David Macklin bringing it back all the way, and the Nittany Lions up by a couple of touchdowns. Doesn't get much press with Brandon Short and LeVar Arrington next to him, but a solid football player. Down goes Burke. He held on. Arrington's down here at the bottom of your screen and coming. Here he comes, and Burke throws it right into the ground. He saw his hands from Craig Jarrett, who had a 58-yarder a moment ago. Wow. This is a bomb. Branch just gives up on it. Forget about the hang time. It doesn't matter. This is inside the five to the four-yard <laughs> line. Oh, my God. 81 yards off the toe of Jarrett. The offense oh couldn't my. do it. The defense couldn't do it. Now he comes up with that punt and backs Penn State up. Saramelli gives him some room, though. Second and three. I'm going to run it over the left side with Saramelli getting a lot of work. He's got a first down. Splits out. Penalty marker is down as Thompson on the run. Flushed out of the pocket. Caught from behind and tripped up at the... Illegal motion. Been two blocked. Out of the gun this time. Throwing up top. It's caught by Burris. Plaxico Burris went up, caught it, and ran it to the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan State. And Burke and is running Bruce Branch back deep. It's drumming at his own five. Looking for a seam over the left side of the field. Out to the And you make it pay off. If they can get that one-on-one -on -one matchup all day, that certainly make Penn State cause them some problems. Shafi Fields with a catch over the middle out to the 44 like yards. Guys were trying to do too much, but now they're very comfortable in playing well. Eric McCoo dancing around and out now, to the You saw it last time when he moved right inside and he made the tackle. Well, they come on the blitz, but it's complete over the middle to Cuncho Brown, the tight end. And he drags the tackler across the 45 for a first down. Knock Eric down or break up. Either way, it's hard to do. Thompson off play action to Saramelli, the fullback out of the backfield, and he may have another first down for the Nittany Lions. In the ball, they're mixing things up. Thompson again, play action, gets a good drop, and again, there's good protection for him, and he just kind of gets it out there to Saramelli, who is, by the way, playing a terrific. Second and nine, straight drop, plenty of time for Thompson. Looks out to his tight end at Stewart, who's got it at the 12. Throw the pass, it's complete. And there's Canoe has to come up and make another tackle. He is the leading tackler on this team. Tackle. You don't like it. Although they say that's the design. It doesn't happen that often. There goes McCoo inside to the... Got to get to the two-yard line for a first down. McCoo fights his way. Forget the two. He's in there for six. Here's Ransom to pull him and lead him through. And here comes your fullback. He'll get a block, and McCoo follows the blocking nicely. Now go ahead and roll it, and watch him. They'll pull the guard. They'll get him out in front. Here he comes, 55 Ransom. Then there's 25 Harris. They all get blocks. McCoo follows him up, virtually untouched to the goal line for the touchdown. First down from the 20. Here comes Cedric Urban, who has been quiet lately and wrapped up by Brandon Short behind the line of for you, And that's... Urban and the tall receivers. Third and long, Burke. Will he go down? Yes, at the three. Schioli got there first with help from Jason Wallace. It'll be Wallace who will be credited with the sack. That's completed. The same thing happens here. Now, it looks like he's going to throw back, so it was a play that was going to take a while to develop anyway. One yards. Gets this one off. A high, short punt. Bruce Branch 
And the Nittany Lions will have great field position. They'll yeah, take this one away before halftime, but certainly make it very tough for Michigan State to come back. So Ramelli, the fullback, who has been terrific so far. There he goes to the end zone. 31 yards for Mike Ceramelli. Ceramelli with a very straight drop. Look at this. Nothing confusing about the play. They're just missing tackles. Morris never even wrapped his arms. The only guy chasing yeah, is Peterson. Huddle so they can utilize the clock the best possible way. Under pressure is Burke. He goes down again. Mac Morrison with the sack. Third and long again for Burke. Throws out incomplete. It was behind the receiver. 31 seconds to move the football. Burke, straight drop, throws. Got a man at Scott. Inside the 30 to the 25. In the slot. Out of the shotgun, Burke. Time again. Over the middle, tipped incomplete. Now, Redinger. Blocked, and it comes back to him. Another huge play by this Penn State defense. Courtney Brown, I believe, got his hand up. See if that's him, number 86. Courtney Brown right over the middle, gets a good push. And his left hand just knocks it down. The defense did its job. Courtney Brown with the block. And to one knee goes Kevin Thompson. So the best half perhaps all year for Penn State, certainly offensively. I can't wait to hear what Todd Blacklich has to say about this. At this Nittany Lion defense, which is Really created turnovers and been huge so far in this one. Sean Foster from his own three-yard line. And out to the 20, but when you're down 35 to 14. So Burke will try to get that going. This one picked off. Anthony King may have clear sailing to the end zone. He gets there. King with his second interception of the season. And what a time for it. Second half, you have never believed it. 42 to 14, Michigan State trying to come back somehow from this. They were young, they had to make some changes there this year, and that's shown here in the first half. I mean, they had four, four sacks in the first half, minus 36 yards. Third and three, Burke with time, but he overthrows Clemens. And so far, they've been helping him. They've been missing tackles, turning it over, penalties. Eric McCoo on first down from midfield to get inside the 40, and that's there goes Shafi Fields in motion. On first down, McCoo over the left side. Looks for a block, bounces outside, cuts back. Inside the 20. Morris wraps him up and runs him out at the 10-yard line. He's in today, and the 5'10", 195-pound youngster is showing Joe Paterno a lot. He gets plenty of blocking, but look at his patience, and look at his vision, and look at his field presence. He knows where the blockers are. He knows where the, the pressure is. Back to Melly and Harris. Straight drop. Under pressure as Thompson throws to the end zone. Really threw that one away. It's a try of 23 yards for Travis Forney. And he splits the uprights once again. Busy afternoon for Forney. There's only one catch this afternoon. He's your leading receiver. He's been open a couple of times, but they aren't throwing to him. Coming into the game, 17 touchdowns, seven interceptions for Burke, but it hasn't continued today. Gould had it, juggled it. it. Is. Couldn't. And they aren't even looking in his direction. They're still looking to the right side, and he doesn't throw when he's sacked. And never, he's covered, so it's a, a coverage sack. Never has a chance, and never comes back Shot to look gun, at Burris. Straight drop, throw it. They know you're going to do it. Penn State almost got that punt from Jarrett. And there's Branch bringing it back from the 34. Good return across the 40. Yeah, Thompson right now, a quarterback, certainly the loss by Texas A&M doesn't do Kansas State any favors at all. There goes Eric McCoo yeah. to jump into the number two spot in terms of strength of schedule. Sarah Melli with a big hole over the left side. Finally knocked out of bounds by Sori Canoe. And right now the Nittany line. Watch 69 Wetterburn on, Wetterburn on the corner. He gets that block, seals it, and Sarah Melli does a nice job getting to the How close they've become over their years. Been through a lot of tough times together. Throw out the Shafi Fields, complete inside the 20 at the night. And a spectacular afternoon for Forney. His fourth field goal of the afternoon. He's missed one just barely when he hit the upright. But good on four of them, 48 to 14. Shark coming back off an injury. Casey on the run, throws downfield, got field open, tiptoes along the sidelines and stays in for the catch. You can't worry about them running up a score. You're going to want this kid to do exactly what he normally does and stay in your game plan. 
So he rolls right, scrambles a little bit. So it's third and eight. Here come the Spartans on the blitz. Over the middle, Cuncho Brown has the ball, but well shy of a first down. He sends nice. Richard Casey back to the huddle. And send Joe Nastasi in with a play. A little smile from Joe on the sideline. Play action, Casey. Incomplete. I'm not sure if it was intended for Nastasi or from a glancing. Goes for 238 yards. Burkoff play action. Throws complete. Burris with the catch across the 30. In motion out of the eye. Straight drop. Burt over the middle again. Got his tight end, and he fights his way maybe for number of seven. It's a tall order now. Clements over the right side breaks through. Has the first complete down for Penn State up front. Clements. Oh, he got and it. Hit. Makes a difference, doesn't it? Oh, sure looks like he's in pass coverage this time. Burke has plenty of time throwing to the end zone. Burris can't get there. Kind of zeroed in on one receiver. And down he goes. Brad Schioli in his final home game here at Penn State with a sack. Mendes for Joe Paterno today. Nittany Lions. On first and 10, here goes Eric McCoo with a hole over the right side. Into the secondary and all the way out to midfield. It's been that. Did a nice job. Stop it right there. And look at the blocks and how they sealed things. Now look at this running lane right here. This is all his area. They're sealing out. There's no containment by Michigan State. McCoo is doing a good job. Oh, look at here. Peterson. Ball on got the it. floor. There goes Peterson. Coming back all the way. Peterson took it off the turf and he's going to run it back after Aaron Harris dropped it and put it on this. Turf in State College. Oh, take a look at him. Here he comes, the bottom of your screen, 98. All right, he's not really in the play. All of a sudden, the ball just pops up. There he is. You talk about being there in an opportune situation, but he takes advantage of it. And he's a big guy, 6'4", 220, that can run. Richardson in motion. They fake it to Irvin. Shovel pass to the end zone. I love Gary's that play. 23 Gary's for the Nittany Lions. Casey bringing them up. There goes Eric McCoo, another big hole over the right side. Canoe can't bring him down. It takes Mike Austin to run him down. The hole that opens up for him. Now hold it right there, and look at this. Here's your alley. And he gets blocks everywhere. He just takes it up there, and once he gets to the outside, now he's dealing with the safety. So he says, hey, I'm as strong as these safeties. Gives a stiff arm, and he picks up 29 yards. Up here, but today is just gorgeous. Third down, McCoo again. Again, he jumps over a tackler and has a first down. He's just a quality guy. The thing that comes out every time you spend time with him is how much he loves his player. A 37-yard try. Plenty of leg. And the direction just right. Five field goals on the afternoon. Travis Forney tied a Penn State record today. Five field goals. Still has plenty of time to go for six. There goes Gary Scott bringing it out to the... Absolutely no disgrace with a young football team. Burke, no pressure this time. Got Gary Scott with a nice catch. The 61-yard touchdown catch. That has really been it over the middle. How did he hold on? You called the him, there he is. Burris was just popped. Irvin out of the eye. There goes Cedric in motion. Quick drop. Burke looking to the corner of the end zone. Got a man and a one-handed catch. The tight end. Chris Baker hauled it in. 621 left. Yep, here it comes. The high bounce. Whoa. And Michigan State has it. It'll be ruled dead at the 40 or near it. And the Spartans come up. Burke under pressure. Gets away. And then goes down. Almost down lost. Side, and that's where he's looking. Arrington was coming on the blitz. This one incomplete. Broken up by David. Twins to the near side again. There goes Burke. Throws. Got Scott, but it's batted down. What a play in the end zone. Yep, there's your man, LeVar Arrington. Fight the whole time. Look, he never comes off of it. And Arrington almost had the interception. Nicely defended. Boy, if we've seen Arrington, they're not looking to him. See if Burke looks his way this time. Nope, he's going over the middle to Scott, and it's knocked away. Had a chance to hold on, but it was Derek Fox who yeah, came it. That at-large thing, you know, that... The wild card in this whole thing has been Notre Dame from the start. McCoo's still up on his feet after spinning away. Eric McCoo, the freshman, a foot race now. Inside the 20. Forget about it. McCoo's going to go all the way to the end zone.
there's a flag on the play. It was fun to watch anyway, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. He uh, He's having that kind of day. It's fun to watch anybody have a big day like that. 73 yards, and, and you know, this kid came in, as we said, with 616 yards and just seemed to his own hands, and he has exploded. Breaks a tackle there, and once he spins and gets into the secondary, then it's a foot race, and he knows it. He sees the safety and just breaks to the outside, and then the most discouraging thing that can happen. Harris slices through. Goes head on with Eric. Controversy, and that's always good for college football. McCoo trying to get it back. He went 73 yards. Since the opening drive, the Nittany Lions have dominated. Joe Paterno's squad, 8-3, and, and Michigan State denied a chance to go to a bowl game. 51 to 28, the final. And a smile on the face of Joe Paterno. For Tim Brandt, I'm Terry Gannon. Remember, later on, the Irish and the Trojans. But up next, the Skins game here on ABC. So long from State College.